Hi, my name is David Campbell, and today I'm going to demonstrate activity 10-15, creating a site link. Our objective for today, we're going to create a new site link. So we've logged on to the administrator on the server, and we opened the Active Directory Sites and Services. Now we're going to click to expand sites, and then we're going to go to Enter Sites Transports. We're going to right-click on the IP folder. Then we should find a new site link, which is not there. So let me see if we can find it. Okay, so let's see if we can minimize this. So we open the Active Directory Sites and Services to open Active Directory Sites and Services. And click Active Directory Sites and Services, which we are. It's kind of a bunch of sites and services. Okay, so Okay, so we're not able to do that. Let's see if we can. So we're not able to do the add the IP or we right click the IP folder and click new site link in the properties dialog. You find well, it looks like we're not able to do this since Windows Server 2008 is not cooperating with me too well. But we should be able to go to IP, right click. And then we should have a new site link, something right here to create one. And then we can go there and then we name it available and then we can actually uh, change the schedule button. We can actually see if we can. View schedule. We can actually change this right here for the new site that we're going to be creating. But use little site link. And that's actually how we'd be able to do it. And then we can actually 
replicate every 180 minutes, and so forth. So this actually concludes activity 10-15, creating a site link. Thank you and have a great day.